I think that the social aspects, it's extremely important because it, it can bump up our physical response, can it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the trouble is we're not all the same. No. Nope. Right, in the way that we process adrenaline, the way that we process the world, some people are a lot cooler just naturally. And so others are very excitable. And the ones who prefer a cool environment are really annoyed by the people who tend to be excitable, and yet the truth is often handed to the social environment through the one person who is the canary in the coal mine, the, the loud uh, responder who has a physical response that is so intense that their voice gets louder. They right. get intense on, on the situation and on other people. And then you have this dichotomy of roles that keeps playing itself out, don't we? Where we have the angry alarmist and then the other person who invalidates anything they say because of the package in which the information was passed on. Right. You're, you're ruining my buzz. I was having a nice coffee and you're freaking out about something. And the truth is what they're freaking out, freaking out about might be a really big deal. Right. And to invalidate that is, is going to create a, a weak point in, in the information gathering system that is in an organization. And so I think that it's very important to, to honor and respect those who are connected to their bodies in a way where the emotion bubbles up like a volcano exploding. And that, that group of people need to notice within themselves how they're doing it and temper their temper. <laughs> right? So there's we, a meeting we, we, in the middle. We've all seen those. It's yeah. a, you know what I mean? There's a meeting in the middle where the people who tend to be physically hotter take the deep breath and calm down and consider that the other person's emotional response to the way that they're passing on the information matters in terms of the effectiveness of their passing on of information, right? What yeah. you're freaked out about, what you're angry about or afraid about might be valid, but if you don't create the behavioral change that you're looking for to create a greater level of safety or the improvement that's necessary, well, what's the point of saying anything at all? You might as well just lock yourself in the bathroom and scream. Yeah. Right? Which <laughs> might be the best choice sometimes to, you know, right. to go out in the nature and scream at the top of your lungs and calm down and get the emotional edge off and then come back into the situation with skillful means. Right? It's one of the most important things I've ever heard, the idea of being able to pass on information with skillful means so that you're not flaring up the other's egos, so that yep. you're not flaring up their pattern recognition programs of when in doubt, ignore the screaming person. Because screaming is against the rules, right? Emotion right. is against the rules. Well, that's not sane either. <laughs> that's not leading us no. towards the most. Of, so this is, this is high level, high intensity, emotional intelligence that we're talking about here. And it's Definitely. the rules that we play, the, the top, you know, the top working its way down and the bottom working its way up so we can meet in the middle and create a teamwork framework yep. that is exciting and fun. And we're playing different roles, right? Some people are rowing the boat and others are standing up on top of the crow's nest, deciding where to row and barking, you know, the, the cadence. We all have our roles to play at each different moment. We may be reversing roles, but to honor each other's roles. Yeah. It's yeah. very important.